All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to kind of go over my, uh, the Godfather, my personal race truck, the UCC truck. Uh, we got in the dyno, and we're going to kind of go over that today. So the last time I did anything in this truck was in Denver, the Gauntlet Challenge. That's when I broke all the torque converter bolts. I did a little over 2,000 horsepower on the ATS dyno. And um, on the way up in the power, the bolts sheared off, and that was the end of my day. So... We got the truck back here, we fixed it. We fixed the torque converter, fixed the bolts, tried some new stuff, and then it's kind of COVID hit and everything just kind of died. So we put it in the trailer. I took it to my house and it just kind of stayed in the trailer in my house until, you know, right now. And so we had this race that Josh found. It's a little airport drag race. There's no tracks left in Utah. They closed the only one down. So guys are renting little air, air strips in little counties around Utah and putting on little races. And they're actually really fun. I've done these before, had a lot of fun, and I was excited to do this one. So I wanted to get my truck here, get on the dyno, uh, just run it, fix any bugs that you know need to have fixed before I actually go to a track. And, and so we did that. So my goal with these dynos was literally to just tune in a usable power for a track that's not going to be a drag strip. There's not going to be any kind of good rubber on the ground, not going to be able to launch hard. And I just wanted to get a lower power setting to, to hopefully get down the track. And so we have different uh, settings, fuel settings. And my first fuel setting, I run 10 PSI to the AFC housing. And I thought I just wanted, in my mind, I was looking for a 1500 horsepower tune. And so on this first pull, I think it did like 1,780 horsepower. If I'm right, that would be like, that was, that was going to be my low power tune, I thought. <clears throat> and it did like 1,780 horsepower. This is a 10, AF, 10 pounds of pressure to the AFC housing. So really very little fuel advance on the, on the rack and um, yeah, it has a lot of power. And so I was like, wow, I gotta find a way to tune that down. So we just started playing around and we just kept, you know, doing everything. We got the, and anyway, we got the truck and it was running good, but I was having a real hard time pulling power. So then I decided just to unhook the AFC housing completely. And um, on this run, it did like 800 horsepower. I'm like, well, I want more than that, but it's really smoky, really smoky. And so I looked at my wastegate settings and noticed I was just blowing off all the waste, all the exhaust pressure. So I kept the AFC housing unplugged, or no, no boost to it. I turned up the wastegate so I could burn the fuel I did have, and that turned into an 1800 and no, excuse me, a 1680 horsepower pull. So that's a lot. That's more than I anticipated even trying to do at this drag strip, but I thought, well, we'll try that. Throughout the day, my best run, I was trying to do like a couple different pre-settings, if you will, and my most powerful run actually hit a little over 2,000 horsepower. 
I did that same run again and it did like 1989 horsepower. So that was like a 2000 horsepower tune. I'm like, I don't even want to try that. I don't want to be tempted to have that at the track. If I, if I try to put 2000 horsepower down on this, on this track, it's just going to be terrible. I'm going to wreck the thing. I'm going to blow all the tires off. It's, don't even try. So I decided, you know, after getting this all ready, that we're just going to run the 1680 horsepower tune. We did many, many pulls of the day. We've really got this thing dialed in. The timing, when we put this on the dyno, we set the timing to about 36 degrees, which is not crazy high in the, in the sled pull world, but it's, it's pretty high, and it's, but it's low enough that it makes it so I can spool the turbos on the, on the converter relatively easily. If I go over 40 degrees, it's pretty hard to spool up, and I knew the racetrack was at 6,000 feet elevation, so I, I need all the help I can get spooling chargers. So I didn't go crazy on the timing. I did 36 degrees on this guy, and um, and it worked great. We, I mean, I had I have a lot of time between runs because I, we we drain the intercooler box, then we refill it with water, and and then I drain it again. I'm running coolant through the head on this on this build, on this build the cylinder head's just the Hamilton warhead. It's not ported. I just I just did some bowl work on it, and so I can I'm running water through this head, and it pulls a lot of heat out of the engine but I'm using that out of my, my water box, so it heats up like crazy. So I'm gonna probably change that here in a bit. I may run a radiator in this thing or something, but overall, the engine platform is, is just rock solid. We had so many problems in the past with this stupid thing breaking camshafts and hurting heads that we, we finally went to the billet straight cut gears. And uh, we had a video on that in a while, so with the straight cut gears, it's just been awesome. I have no more problems with this engine it takes everything I throw at it. It has a nice little whine too, a straight gear whine, you can really hear it. So, so now with this engine together, I've got it dialed in where I want it. Uh, I'm gonna go race it. I'm gonna take it to this little airport drag strip. I'm gonna try it out. I don't know how well it's gonna do. No idea if this thing will even take, if the street will hold 1600 horsepower or not. But uh, you know, I'm gonna try it. I, I, need a, I need to get up some practice. It's been a long time since I've raced this thing. It's been a long time since I've done multiple laps in one day, so I'm really excited to get some practice. This is a, this is a practice round for me. I'm not trying to set the world on fire here. I'm just going to try to reacquaint myself with the truck, all the processes, and uh, get this thing running good. And So anyway, next time you see this truck, it's going to be on a drag strip in uh, Utah, and it's going to be awesome. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's always fun watching this thing on the dyno. I love seeing the footage where the truck rocks. You can just see the torque pulling that thing over. I just Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that looks so sweet. So. I hope you enjoyed as much as me, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the race.